In theory, when a fish bites, this rod will set the hook on its own. Oh, dude, something big's chasing it. Oh my gosh, please set rod. Dude, oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, old folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Guys, comment days popping up down below. So subscribe, hit the bell. Guys, if the subscribe button is gray, it's the right color, so make sure it's not red. Anyways, guys, today we are here at the lake with Devin. Hey, it's dangling with Devin. And we have uh, some fishing gadgets today. I've actually ordered an absurd amount of fishing gadgets from Amazon, Wish, all these different places. If you guys want to see like the next gadget video, just 3,000 likes on this video. We'll keep on posting these crazy things that I found all over the internet. But in today's video, we have something very special. Right in here, guys, check this thing out. This is a self-setting fishing rod gadget right here so my guess is that these spikes go into the ground and then somehow our fishing rod attaches oh there are there already is a fishing rod on this oh snap <laughs> oh, that's so, cool. so we have like a robot spring-loaded self-setting fishing rod what we have to do is catch live bait in today's video so we can set it out and then in theory when a fish bites this rod will set the hook on its own which is super cool and interesting so we're gonna put this back for now Devin we have the bubbler we have the cast net we gotta catch ourselves some live bait, which is always fun. I feel like it's better, guys, instead of going and buying live bait, to catch it yourselves. It's more lively, it's more natural from like the water areas that you're from. We're gonna catch some live bait. And if you're not liked and subscribed yet, do it. All right, guys, we are here at the pond. Time to cast net. Some fish. I mean, this has been like our lucky bait fish kind of spot. We've caught a ton of shiners, like a few shad, ton. bluegill. Yeah. I mean, everything that you need for bait fish for big bass. We've caught like literally standing on this dock. You caught, before, a, so. you caught an eight with the little bluegill that was yeah, caught actually. out of here. Yeah, Yeah, so these are lucky for big bass, which we're shooting for today. I would love to catch Omega on the self-setting rod. That's like the overall goal. First cast. I know there's like a big log right down here, so I just try to cast right on it kind of like that and i let it sink i don't know if you know this but i'm absolutely terrible at cast netting from my last video <laughs> just the worst Ooh, oh, oh, ooh, yes that's a big that's shot. a massive shad holy <laughs> cow <laughs> dude that might be way too big that is a massive gizzard shad holy cow that's gonna catch a stud. No, go in there. Okay. We might have to throw them back since that bucket's not. <laughs> yeah, it's not a very big bucket. We'll leave them in there for now. If a bass eats that though, it's gonna be a freaking tank. <laughs> Knowing us though, if a bass that eats that, it's gonna be <laughs> like a little half pounder. Ooh. Oh, yes. I got two little bluegill. That's actually perfect. That's like perfect size too. Oh, perfect. For what we need Insanely today. Insanely perfect. Oh, I got one. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I got two, three. Dude, so we're catching a lot of bluegill this go around. Those two are pretty small, but I think that one's definitely keeper size. Worth it. Let them go, let them grow. You wanna put the big dude back? Yeah, probably. We should have got a bigger bucket. That's such a shame though. That's a massive gizzard shad. This is a risky cast. This is very high risk, high reward. There could be a lot of bait fish there, but um, there's trees everywhere, so. We're gonna give it a send. Oh no. <laughs> Devin, I need your rod. <laughs> My handle fell off. That was probably my my dumbest cast at that moment of all time. There better be a fish in this, dude. Come on. Oh, there is a fish in it. Not a lot, but we got um. Got bubble, yeah, you did. Come here. yeah, we got some bluegill. Hey, we got a bunch of little good bait today. We're just basically walking around, guys. I think the rain has thrown it off. The lake is super high now, and where we used to catch all of our shad, there's like no shad there anymore. So we're just gonna keep on walking, see whatever we can find. Oh yeah, we got something in here. A little bluegill. Dang, man. That's actually a better sized bluegill. Like, this is a pretty good one. Easy there, big fella. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We have like a few bluegill, but I would love to go into this challenge with some shiners. So, they were smoking them last time we were out there. Like, we have to get shiners. I know, we, we literally to. tripled up on seven pounders at this pond we're going to the last time, and it was all on shiners, so. Water flows in up here. I think that might be a good spot. I was waiting to like throw one cast and just have a net full of them. Okay, we got some. Oh, nice. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Still so we got bluegill. some big bluegill. Dude, all bluegill today. What in the world? It might be a sign though. Maybe bluegill will be the bait of choice. And maybe yeah. it's giving us the sauce. But I want shiners, dude. Nothing. No, I got one. Oh, yeah, a big oh, one too. Huge bluegill. <laughs> that's gonna catch a big bass. Yeah, that's too. gonna that's gonna be a good bait. That's <laughs> a really good bait. I wasn't I wasn't too stoked about doing this, but now I am. Seeing all the bait fish we're getting. You got this. I'm yeah, it's already, it's already broken anyways. I'm trying to remember. You put that in your, I have no clue what you're doing there, but run it. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just run it. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
That wasn't it. That, that wasn't it, guys. Can you at least stand up and teach me? Yak Pack taught me. He was the champion of 1985 or whatever it was. All right, guys, so we have a ton of bluegill in here. Unfortunately, guys, we did not catch any shiners, which was like my number one. The shad, they kind of die like a little easy, but shiners are hardy and they're defenseless. They don't have any spines, but these bluegill do have spines, but maybe the bigger bass will go after the bigger predator, which would be a bluegill. So we got tons of them, Devons. <laughs> Over here just throwing pancakes so far deep into the water. So he's, he's still trying for that shiner dream here, but I think we're about good to send it to the secret it. pond with the biggins. You do not. I have something. That's not another bluegill. Ooh, there we go. That's actually a cool looking one, dude. Yeah, he's like dark Look orange at that. eyes. What in the world? That looks crazy. I think that's a brim. I don't even think that's a bluegill. Yeah. This will probably be the last bait fish that we go ahead and put into the bucket. We're about to head to the spot, catch some big ones on our self-setting rod. I think it should be enough bait. We got like 10 in there. And really all we need is one for like one mega bass. I want a beautiful B-roll shot of Devin casting a cast set real quick. If you can just point the camera that way. Devin, give him the run through, man. How do you cast a cast net? I don't know, but you were not lying that this thing is literally broken. <laughs> Maybe we have had shiners in our cast net today, but our cast net is just ruined from the fish rescue. If you guys haven't seen that, it's popping up right here. Jack Pack simultaneously fell while casting. Oh, no. Bro, I'm gonna get mad, dog. That hurt so bad. God <laughs> yeah and just broke like four of the ropes on it. So I need a new cast set, but I forgot about it until we got here. And then it re-reminded me that our cast set's broken. For the record, this is what uh, fishing with the yak pack taught me. Just kind of grab it. Just a wild guess at which one you want to grab. You know, make a little loop-de-loop, -loop, throw it over your arm. And he said, you got to get a wide set. So good stance. Good stance. Remember you said that? His yeah. number one, number one tip was just to yeet it. <laughs> yeet. <laughs> that wasn't that bad, actually. It's gonna be a fish. It, it caught my hand on the way out. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's something big in this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what if there was? There is nothing. How on my best cast, there's nothing, but on the one that literally didn't even open up. That's what I was wondering. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> what a cast. It hit the whole back of my leg. <laughs> Guys, don't, don't, don't. Don't do that. Devin, we might we might just be probably the least talented fishing channel on YouTube. Well, actually, that took a lot of talent, actually. To do that? I bet you no one else could do what I just did if they tried. You know I, mean? I feel like people, their first time fishing, would probably have better talent, better fishing skills than us. That was rough. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. T take it out of the game, coach. Sub it out. This does make the challenge more challenging because we don't have different types of bait fish. Like literally if they don't eat bluegill on a self-setting rod, we're gonna have an issue. But that's what makes it scary and that's fun. That's what makes it a challenge. That's what makes it a challenge. And we always like doing things the hardest way possible here on the Fishing and Norm channel. So we're gonna try to figure out how this self-setting rod works. I really have no clue just by looking at it. That might be the hardest part of the challenge <laughs> yeah. is just getting that thing to work. Facts. All right guys, Devin and I are here at the pond and we're gonna be doing like a little bit of a 1v1 challenge with this self-setting rod to see which one hooks up better. A normal rod, a real combo. May I add the Guggen Squad? A green Honest, rod. Honestly, yeah, it kind of has like a little bit of a Guggen green to it. But if you guys want to use code Norm to save 10% off on this rod, go to GuggenSquad.com, use code Norm. But we're going to be seeing which one has a better hookup ratio, the automatic hook setter or like manual, like us setting the hook versus mm. something that does it for us. Muscles or mechanics. Yeah, drop a comment down below, guys. Which one do you think is going to win? I have a feeling like I trust us. Actually, do I trust us more than something that <laughs> I don't does know. it? We've been pretty bad. I don't know. It's, Especially me lately. Yeah. I've been bad with my hook sets. <laughs> it's 50-50 on which one's going to win. Comment down below, guys. Which one do you think would be better? Like manual or spring-loaded thing right here? So I have no clue how to work this. I just know this. There's like a rod built into this thing. What does this even say? Lai 2 and then some Chinese symbols 302. So guys, on the bottom, this thing comes out right here. And then you turn it around. But this is actually like a weapon. But let me stab you in the arm real quick. Like just barely do it. No, I'm not gonna do stab it. You. I didn't feel anything. No, but hold that and like that could seriously be a weapon. So it's a fishing rod that doubles as a weapon. That's pretty dangerous. So when they come out here and try to kick us out, I'm gonna be like, hey. I don't know if we can say that on I YouTube. Don't yeah. <laughs> if my channel's deleted, guys, tomorrow you know why it happened. It's Dang because of with Devin. Devin. <laughs> it came like this, but I think you put it upside down 
and then this goes straight into the ground, so it'll stick there. My question is, I have no clue how to bend this thing. Like this red lever, I don't know what this does, and the problem is the instructions came in either Chinese or Japanese. I don't know which, and I don't want to upset anybody, but it's one of the two. We're gonna try to make sense of the instructions real quick. Somehow that has to bend like 90 degrees. So this is like the instruction manual, and can you guys tell me if that's Chinese or Japanese in the comments down below, because I'm not really sure. So here we have pictures which will help. Okay, so we did steps one and two, which was flip that thing upside down, the spikes. That goes into the ground. Step number three. Yep, I got it figured out. Wait, how'd you do it? You might have to do it again. I gotta, I gotta see how you did it. Look, I don't know how to get it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost my finger. Simple engineering mechanics. We can see right here that we have a hinge point. It hinges here. The only way to do that is to bend it that way. Wait, did you click a button when you did it? No, you just be a man. I might put my money on me after seeing this thing just do a hook set. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. it has to know when to set the hook. So the line yeah, has to so. go somewhere in that once we bend it. So you'll you'll bring the line back, you'll attach it here, and then... Oh yeah, I think you're rubber. right. I know I'm right, I just did it. Don't question me, I drove a submarine. It's the same thing. Yeah, so guys, you take the line, you hook it around this little red thing, wherever you want it, and then... Boop! Fish on. We tight. The only thing with this rod is that it only is a rod. So you have to bring your own reel. So we have a reel here. And all you do is you just screw this thing on. Just like so. And then you bring it through all the eyes. This rod is long, man. This is like a nine foot rod at least. Super long. You guys see how long this thing is? Then once you bend it at that 90 degree angle, it sticks like that. And then we're gonna rig this thing up through all the eyes, have the line wrapped around this red thing. And whenever you get a bite, the line will start pulling. It'll pull this red thing. Oh, and instantly <laughs> set the hook. That is so freaking cool. This really takes all the talent out of fishing. You don't even have to set the hook, and that's what I like. We're gonna go ahead and uh, rig everything up and uh, show you guys what we're using because we do have the uh, the live bluegill that we caught, which I think is gonna work awesome. So guys, I'm gonna choose a mega bluegill. And actually, we had a net on this thing earlier today. I don't know where it went. That is gonna catch the freaking giant right there. So, oh, his spines are in me. I'm gonna go ahead and hook him right here. I think somebody said this helps him swim like down. It makes him look more injured. So, boom, we have a bluegill hooked right behind the tail. And this rod, guys, I mean, it's quite literally the size of a cane pole. Like, it's massive. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm gonna go ahead and cast this thing out there and set it up. Hopefully it won't get eight before I can actually set the rod into the ground and do everything like it's supposed to go. The competition starts right now. We have a 1v1 versus Devin to see who can catch the biggest fish and whose hookup ratio is best with the self-setting rod versus the manual Guggen rod. Oh, snap, there you go. We have such a massive rod here. Oh, it fell off. Oh. I'm on, oh, he's on. He's on. Oh. What was that hook set? What do you mean was that? I let him eat it and I reel it and I hook. What do you mean what is that? You don't hook you set? don't hook set with a circle hook. You just reel. I, I know. I caught a six out here doing that. All right. Well, we know that within about five seconds, the tiny bluegill got eaten. Dude, that was like fast, fast. I think I'm gonna be able to launch this thing because this rod is freaking massive. So let's go ahead and see how this goes. Watch out, Devin. Watching. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> My bobber is all the way out there. It's in a good spot right now. So we gotta set this rod up real quick. Oh, you already get bit, dude. You already get no, bit. I can't get bit yet. Oh no, he's going crazy. I'm gonna open the bill. Going wild. No, I, I have to let the rod set the hook. That's the rule with this one. All right, so I gotta shove it in the ground like this. Oh, my bobber is under, guys. Oh geez, oh geez. I gotta pull this. Oh, I thought I broke it. Oh dude, he might've already ate it. Oh no, oh, he's, still it's still moving, it's still moving. And then I put my, my line right here. Oh, I'm, I'm under, I'm under. You're under? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Got him. Oh no, Devin's got one, guys. Oh, he's little, he's little. You got a little one? Yeah. Hey, that's still a fish, though. I still got, oh, I almost got a fish. Oh, he's not too little. Jeez, that's a good one. <laughs> nice. Already. Here we go, boys. We're already in the lead. Second cast. I had one on the first, but I got too excited and set it like a regular hook set instead of just reeling into the circle hook. That's why you need which, a self-setting rod. Yeah. Which Uncle Luke over here. Tony's like, what are you doing? Yep, learn how to hook set. Yeah, with right. circle hooks, you reel. You just reel up the slack. You nice little really set the hook. one and a half. I call them one and a half. Get them back in there. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry you had to go along with that, bud. All right, well, now that I caught a fish and I've cooled off, Let's go. Oh, oh, I'm under, I'm under, I'm under. But it, 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 has, to it has to take the rod, dude, the rod might set. Come on, set. Dude, it's gotta set soon, doesn't it? No, now it's up. 
Oh, dude, something big's chasing it. Oh my gosh, please set, Rod, please, please. Getting tighter. Dude, it's a big fish. Oh, 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 go on, set, set, set. Do it. Hooked on, it's hooked on. Dude, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh, dude, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, oh, it's just huge. It's huge. It's, it's actually huge, huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please stay on there. Please stay on there. Devin, you're going to have to grab this fish. Stop casting. Stop casting. Stop casting, Devin. I got a big one. <laughs> oh my gosh. A massive one on the self setting rod. Just please stay on there. Oh my gosh, Devin's walking out there. <laughs> oh, it's big. Oh. Yes, dude. <laughs> dude, look at the mouth on dude, this Dude, that is thing. such, I saw the mouth, I thought he was massive. Oh my God, it's so slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, dude, the mouth on this thing is easily a four to five pounder's mouth. It literally is a five pounder's mouth, but like a three pounder's body. You still got your bait too, dude. Sweet. <laughs> I literally Here. thought I had a five pounder on because I saw his mouth when he jumped. Oh, the hook is just perfect hook set. Perfect hook set. The self setting hook, guys. I was so afraid. I literally had to assist it. My line slipped down the setter, if that makes sense. It wasn't setting the hook because it malfunctioned. So I had to manually go in and make it set the hook. But uh, look at that, dude. That is a freaking tank. Nice. We've caught, I mean, eights and nines out of here. The last time we were here, I caught like an eight and a half pounder. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. But that is a good one. The self setting rod now is one for one and in the lead with the biggest fish. There we go. See you, buddy. Maybe I read the instructions wrong and I had the line in the wrong spot. It was not setting, it like wrapped around. All right guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Unfortunately, we ended up like running out of live bait. We casted it a ton, but we just kept on like losing them or they would just die. But it was fun. That self-setting rod, I seriously think it was like cool. It it worked kind of. But what I'm really excited for is I wanna take a self-setting rod, like maybe even saltwater fishing for like, I don't know. I don't think this is the last of these self-setting rods. So guys, comment down below what we should do with it. But overall, I really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed too. And uh, yeah, if you made it to the end, like, subscribe, comment. Comment down some video ideas down below. And until the next fishing adventure, Fishbowl, I'm out of here.